Hi, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can use our roadmap analogy slides on your Word document. I'm going to open a new Word document. Ideally, you would have said, let's copy paste and paste it there. You'll notice there's this blue shaded shape that has gotten pasted. So to begin with, since um, you, you'll see that the, the slide, the orientation of the slide is uh, in a landscape format. So let's do that first things first. Let's go to page layout on Word, change the orientation from portrait to landscape. Now before we copy this, it is important to note that to first understand how many layers do we actually have on this uh, in terms of the background. So I'm just going to click there and drag this out and you'll notice that there's this one layer which has a gradient fill here and then there's another layer here which has a pattern fill. But if I click there, you'll see that I, there's, nothing, there's nothing coming on. So this tells me that what we have done on PowerPoint is we have formatted the background. Unfortunately, that option is not available in Word document. So we'll try something else. So let's double click on this cursor here. And as I double, the moment I double click, you'll see that there's a header and a footer that comes in. So let's copy this, paste it there. And in my paste options, I'm going to select that one. Now, in order for this to be centrally aligned so that I don't have to, you know, manually do this every time. So I go to Format. And then I go to Position, More Layout Options, Centered to Page. And in the Alignment, again, Centered to Page. So now I only have to drag this up. Perfect. Now the only thing, um, now you'll, now the next question is where do we get this um, this uh, background with the with the pattern? So what I'm going to do is I am going to copy and paste here on Word and then I'm going to right click format the shape and let's click on pattern fill. The color that was chosen was this and the pattern that was chosen was that. Okay. So now notice that this has overlapped the, um, the, the, the background with the gradient fill, so I will simply right click and I'll say send to back. So here again, we'll go to position so that we don't have to manually do this every time. Center, center to page, center to page, not margin. Okay, and now I'll just drag this over and we're good. So now I'm going to close this and there you go. So now that we have set the background, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to our PowerPoint and copy, paste that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that I can see the whole of my screen. And then I'm going to set the edges of this drawing so that it fits my Word document Word page neatly. And then I'm going to copy this shape here, paste it. And uh, when I copy, I notice that the year 2013 is not appearing clearly. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that I can, uh, so that the years can fit in cleanly. Now, another thing I could have, I could do now is again, I can go and copy paste in all of these, uh, images from the PowerPoint. But if I had to do that, that means every time I do that, I'd have to adjust this section here. So what I'd rather do is just duplicate that using control D on my keyboard and then later on I can edit the text so because the PowerPoint has six so I'm trying I'm going to try and fit all the six in here so that's four there uh, I need another two oops sometimes you know placing these on the power uh, on the word might look like you might have a hard time doing that using your mouse, so that's when the arrow keys on your um, keyboard will come in handy. 
Alright, once I'm done with that, it's only a matter of um, changing whatever needs to be changed. So I can, um, if I do need this, I can simply copy paste, go to my paste options, and say keep source formatting. Remove the extra space there so that it's centrally aligned. And there you go. So that's how you would move a, a, um, a, a set of shapes or a set of diagrams from PowerPoint to Word with the background intact. If you have any questions, please feel free to write to us at support at 24.0.com. Thank you.